Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you guys joining me in this one. We are going to do a redstone only build today. It's going to be block swaps that are flush with the floor, the wall, or the ceiling depending on which one you want to use. But what is really neat is the materials used for these three that we can see right now is going to be the same amount of materials. It's going to be the same just kind of a different orientation as far as the pistons are concerned. Now the one that we're about to build, which is the uh, wall swap block, it's got a second variant where we're gonna build it to where the pistons are on the left and the right when it swaps. And then at the end here, I will show you how to build one for a bottom and top swap. And for the reason for this variant, it actually allows you to have it a little bit more compact. When this one gets built, it's about two or three wide. This one is, as you can see, five wide one two three four five yep and so depending on what you want to do and what's cool too is that when we build these these can actually rotate in any direction that you want and we will go over that a little bit more later so let's go ahead and see what we need so as you can see on the top row there the three torches the two repeaters the two pieces of redstone and the two regular pistons and a sticky piston is what we are is what is needed for every build except for the second variant. The only difference on the second variants is that you need one extra piece of redstone, which is not that bad, which is right here. And so if that's what you want to do, you'll have three pieces of redstone dust up here. So on the bottom row is to show everything broke down, even your pistons and your repeaters are broke down of a total of what your purest form of materials you're going to need. So depending on if you use a second vari variant or not, you'll need either 15 pieces of redstone dust or 14 pieces of redstone dust, and then 12 pieces of cobblestone, 9 planks of your choice, 7 sticks, 6 stones, 3 iron ingots, and 1 slime ball. So let's we'll go ahead and get those. And then I chose a smooth stone as my block of choice. And then I'm going to swap it with this verdant frog light, the green one. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what I like to do is I start off my repeaters into the side of the blocks here, just like that. And, and remember, this is the setup that you need to have before you, you know, of course, start placing your redstone components. And then I'll have a torch in the middle. And then I like to set these here. Now, the redstone pieces actually go on top right here. But I don't like doing that yet until I get my pistons placed. If you have your pistons extended, it's hard to put your swap blocks in while they're extended. So you can crouch, find that uh, square on the top and place it down. And then I have this block to help me place the sticky piston on top of the torch just like that and then I'm going to use my wall material there and then I'm going to use the frog light on this side now you can use either side it does not matter and then we will set our redstone pieces just like that and if we press the button it'll swap and push out like it's supposed to just like that and then your extra material actually go around this like so so that we can actually see what it looks like it's pretty cool pretty neat so that is your variant one on your wall the next setup is going to be coming from the floor so as you can see it is the same exact setup except for the pistons orientation is actually now facing where it pushes a block upward and these two are still on top of the torches, just like these. Like that. Pushes up, and then it swaps it around. And then, uh, like before, this is your material, or whatever you want to choose. And so it gets swapped, pushes up through, and just like that. Now where I have the button at, this is where your input should go. It has to turn off this torch for everything to go. And then reason for the button is that it allows it to power back on. So you can't really use a lever. If you want to, you have to flip the lever again for it to work. And so just like this too. Um, 
The reason why I have that in the front is because if I use a button, it will affect my piston, but you can still put a power through like a repeater or rest on dust leading into it. And then as you can see how this is on this side and that's on that side, you can actually ori orientate however which way you want as long as, yeah. As long as, yeah. <laughs> Next, we got it from the ceiling. As you can see, it is the same setup here, except now we have the pistons below the torches this time and instead of on top of them, but it still works. And there's only one spot where you can put your input into because you have the piston on the other side that's in the way, but you can still rotate this around however you want. So there's that. Sticks right through, which is really cool. And then again, here is your material. So you press the button and there you go, it sticks right through. So here is the second variant, and I will show you how to build it. We'll go ahead and get our build tools there, and all of those. So what you want to start off with is you got your piston down here, and you got the piston here. Make sure that there is a three block space in between those, and then you'll have a sticky piston right in the middle. I'm gonna go that way. Uh, I'm using a crafting bench this time which is really cool if you can hide your crafting bench, kind of make it nice and neat, I guess. And so the bottom piston, you want to have a block right beside it and then skip a space and then go back and then place another block. The other piston, you want to do the same. You want to put one right beside it and then you actually want to staircase it down and have whoop, two come out this way. And then you want to staircase one more time and then have one behind the middle piston. So that is all your blocks placed. That's all the blocks that you need uh, to hold your redstone components. And then next, what I like to do is you do your repeater into that block, and the re repeater into that block. So there is your two repeaters. And then make sure you, still, you have your blocks that you wanna swap in place. So this can be down here or on top, as long as it's uh, you have an empty space here or here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And then that there, the ones that are right beside the pistons, get a torch. And then your redstone dust goes here and here. And then this is where your extra redstone dust goes. And then the last torch is right there. And then your input is gonna be on the side of this block. So we'll see it in action. Press the button, it'll swap and then push this out. Just like that. And then your material is whoop, is gonna go around whoop, just like that. Pushes it in, it's really cool. It keeps your bench hidden when you're not needing it and then it brings it out if you are. And what's cool about this is yes, you can chain all of these together and that is what I have done right here. You guys may have seen a glimpse of it already, but what's in green, of course, is the, your setup over here. Now I used the second variant for the wall, for the wall on this side, because I wanted them a little bit closer together. There's your ceiling ones, the wall ones again, and then there's your floor. And in the future video of the next redstone components, I am going to show how to make a torch key and activate a hidden two by, I think it's a two by two piston door that's hidden flush with the wall, which is gonna be pretty sweet. But watch this guys. It is so satisfying to watch. I mean, I could do this all day. <laughs> that sounded, yeah, all day. So with that guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, that would be much appreciated if you would. That would help the channel. But as my wife always says, hootie hootie chicken booty, and I'll see you in the next one. What do you think of the lights, buddy?